the losers, cool beans, and other lovable weirdos, and welcome to a little Sims build. That's right. I actually have another thing ready for this channel. And yes, it's very seasonal. <laughs> this is this is what I spent a little time of my my holiday time on. I it's a little it's a little it's a little Christmas restaurant. That's what it is. It's it's very wintry. It's very snowmanny and reindeery. And I was just thinking, you know, what would be a cool little like go out but be cozy vibes. So it's it's got a lot of fireplaces. It's there's a couple of seating areas that are definitely tucked into corners. Feel a little bit. Mm, a little away from the main area. They're not away from the main area, like they're there, they're accessible, they're very, but it's more in a corner. So I wanted my Sims to have the option to sit somewhere to feel where like, you know, they could pretend that they're in their own private little fancy seating area. <laughs> it is a small restaurant. There's only like five or six tables, but there's eight variety. There's a couple of longer tables. There's a booth. There's couple of smaller two to four seat tables a lot of Christmas trees basically if it if there was a Christmassy wintry decoration in seasons or the holiday stuff or anything it, it's probably on this lot <laughs> predictably built up in that beautiful snowy neighborhood in that Kamarebi because where else am I gonna buy it I also feel cheated and tricked by the gallery I built this with the front door pointing out to where like the uh, building for the ski lift is and stuff thinking, you know, that that looks nice. That's like, you know, you can get up there, go over to a restaurant, decide if you want to go up the slopes, blah, blah, blah. According to the gallery, what I have made the back of this lot is the front based on its photos and I'm just like, excuse me? But yeah, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So, um... Happy holidays to anyone who celebrated a holiday and had a good time. And if you either don't celebrate or do not have a good time, well, it's over. It's all over. We can all go back to normal life. <laughs> I, I'm normally in the latter because I'm not a I'm not I'm not a big Christmas person, and I'm still not a big Christmas person. But I had quite a nice year. Uh, personally, this is a first year spending some time with partner's family, uh, like at Christmas. Both like as in this partner and like ever, I've 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 never, <laughs> I've had I've had people come over to my family's house at Christmas. I've never went elsewhere. The, the closest was, uh, you know, being in my own apartment over Christmas, but n never actually going to someone else's. So that was a little nerve wracking, but very lovely, very very lovely. And I got to meet the sweetest little cat that I've been so eager to meet. She's so soft. She is so, so soft and so, you know, when you see someone's pet and you can tell that the, they really love them, like obviously the, like the owner and the pet, that's how beautiful it was. Like she's just hopping up and being like head boop, head boop on, on my cool bean. And I'm just like, mm. he's cat approved. <laughs> uh, but yes. Also, I had a little too much fun with the snowman. You'll, you'll understand. And the reindeer, you'll understand when I when I get to the roof in this build. <laughs> it's like it's nothing too extravagant, but it's definitely, definitely you know what time of year it is if you're going to this place. Simple yet cozy. Also, I just was having fun with the wall shape. <laughs> I went, hey, I'll have some have some shapes. Not everything's a square. Even if the bathroom's a square and the kitchen's mostly a rectangle, but we don't care about the bathroom or kitchen. They're just there because they're kind of essentials. <laughs> we only care about the Christmas trees and the, oh, I spent forever going what wall. I was like, is a red wall too much red? But I didn't really like green and I didn't really want something as light as the cream. But then like that one with the stripes and the boarding, paneling, whatever. Wayne's? What is the word for- I can't remember the word for the wooden feature. I'm no interior designer, only in The Sims, not by terminology. And I'm too lazy to Google, that's the real lesson here. But as you can see, I settled with red. <laughs> I was like, you know what, it's, it's a Christmas themed restaurant, there's no such thing as too much red. It's, it's supposed to be obnoxious red and green and yeah. And yes, you can bet that uh, <laughs> The staff I've made for it have uh, Christmas outfits. Some of them are like 
I think it's the waitresses are in the proper Santa dress. The hostess is in, like, the season's dress that has the little, like, cardigan on it and, like, red. <laughs> Everybody has a Santa hat. It's a, it's a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> I figure it, it can just, because it's snowy up here, it'll be... When it's not winter, your sims can come up here whenever they really love Christmas and wish it was Christmas. Like, it, it, it can be that novelty of somewhere special at the time of year. And a little bit of, if you really like this time of year and it's not that time of year, you can go here. Or who knows, maybe they change up theme every season. Who knows? Um, personally, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm a smidge lazy for that. Although, you know, you could just change the color swatches on half the items in here and it would actually be very easy to go between the seasons. <laughs> Obviously the snowmen and the reindeer might be a bit of a... Mm. But you know what? The reindeer exist all year round. They're not just for Christmas. And the snowmen... You, for like summer you could replace them with that sand... Snow, snow, that sand man. Sand snowman doesn't quite make sense, but that sand man. And anything else, uh... Okay, Summer s s Sand Man. Really want to say Snowman, it's terrible. Easter, you know, just place some freezer bunnies. Yeah, it could work out. <laughs> Plenty of pumpkins. Also, that bow. That bow on the, uh, host station. I love it as a detail. I absolutely love it. But I think it messed with the gameplay. Because whenever I opened this restaurant... The host would stand there and they'd, you know, be on the phone doing their host thing. But at no point did they step out of it to actually take people to their tables. And I was trying to figure out, was it because of the decorations on the tables? Was it something else? But it seemed to be that, though, because I moved it onto the wall beside the host station and then, boom, the host hosted properly. I also had to size down some of the decorations and some of the tables just because the Sims would go and stand beside their table instead of sitting there just because there wasn't quite the plate space. So that's a few little gameplay technicality things, but it's minor details. Adjust decoration. Welcome to the screenshot section, because I've actually rambled all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I have no idea what build I could possibly post next, because I've got a few backlogged. Um, but if there's any random thing you think you'd like to see me build, feel free to shout out an idea, because I just like building whatever. <laughs> Otherwise, I have another YouTube channel that's more consistent and horror focused and I stream on Twitch and I hope you have a beautiful day. Go hug a plushie or something or a reindeer, but maybe ask the reindeer's uh, consent because, you know, that's important. Don't just hug random reindeer. They might not like it.